Hi, I'm Mary Lake. I would like you to know a little bit about my life. I was born in 1909, in Colonia Dublon, Chihuahua, Mexico, to William Bailey Lake and Sarah Emma Carroll. I do not have any photos of my early years but this photo shows my parents and older siblings a few months before I was born. The poor Mexicans in northern Mexico were rebelling against mistreatment by wealthy landowners and government troops were sent in to suppress the rebellion. After Grandpa Willard Carroll died in 1906, Grandma Charlotte and Uncle Tom's family moved to Grayson, Utah. My parents decided to also leave Mexico. In 1910 they packed up our wagons and moved to Grayson. The town was only five years old. By 1914 the town changed its name to Blanding and claimed a population of 500 people. I loved the teachings I received at the new Blanding Elementary School and at the San Juan High School. I especially loved music. My father purchased a piano that the Butts family had freighted to bluff. My older sister, Lottie, and I would play the tune over the waves over and over again. I was growing up, I developed a deep faith in my Heavenly Father and the restoration of the Gospel. I continued my music practice and served as the organist for the Blanding Ward. Edward P. Kimball, the tabernacle organist, came to Blanding for a state conference and taught a class for organists. Occasionally I was asked to sing in sacrament meetings as a special musical number. Upon graduation from high school, Grant Lee Shumway began courting me. Our courtship was hampered because of a spring epidemic of mumps and measles which many people in Blanding became sick with. I had both diseases at once and was very ill for some time. Lee was very much in love with me, and would come each evening to sit by my side. After I recovered we made marriage plans. In August of 1927 Lee borrowed his father's car and we drove to Salt Lake. Lee was age 21 and I was age 18. On the 16th we were endowed in the Salt Lake Temple and sealed for all eternity by Elder Joseph Fielding Smith. We returned to Blanding where we lived with my parents until we were able to get our own home. Lee was able to make bounty money by trapping coyotes during the winter from October to February. In August of 1928, Lee helped my parents move to Oakley, Utah. Then he returned again to Oakley, with me so I could be with my mother when our first child, Grant L. Shumway, was born on November 8, 1928 in the Lake's Little Log House. Upon my return to Blanding, I continued to serve in the Blanding Ward and in August of 1929 was called to serve as second counselor in the primary. The next year on September 22, 1930 another son was born. We named him Devan Lake Shumway. One week after Devan's birth, Lee and his brother, Harris, left to go to the Navajo Reservation to check their trap lines. Two days later I became very ill and died. Two brothers, Glenn and Seth, went hunting for Lee and Harris and found them about 25 miles south of Kayenta, Arizona. Hi, I'm Grant Lee Shumway. I was born February 28, 1906 in an adobe home in a rural area of San Juan County, New Mexico called Jewett. It is now known as Waterflow. I am shown here in 1972 standing by a wall of the home I was born in. Six of my older siblings were born in Arizona and the others were born in New Mexico where my father owned 160 acres of land. The water in the canal, shown in the background, came from the river and had fish in it. The youngest photo of me shows me with my mother, Mary, and sister Ruth. I am the person in the upper right of this photo. I was the eleventh of twelve children of Peter Minerly Shumway and Mary Elizabeth Johnson. In 1910, father sold our New Mexico home, bought additional cattle, and moved our family to Grayson, now called Blanding, San Juan County, Utah. 
One day at school during recess Mr. Hyde from Bluff let us kids ride in his new 1912 model car. This photo shows him in Bluff giving rides. I became enamored with mechanical equipment. In 1918 my father, Peter, bought a new Buick car. It was tricky to get started because when one person turned the engine with a hand crank another person had to adjust the gas throttle and the spark timing. In this car my parents went to visit relatives in Cache Valley, Utah and Shumway, Arizona and took my younger brother, Glenn, and me. This photo shows the old schoolhouse in Shumway, Arizona south of Snow Flake. At age 12 I was ordained a deacon in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints by Albert R. Lyman after which I helped gather produce donated as fast offerings by the ward members. I attended eight grades of school and then began learning the art of trapping from my expert brother, Seth. Seth was an official government trapper. Seth was asked to kill the wolves that had been feeding on cattle south of the bear's ears. Seth and I took pack animals, guns, food, including a jar of sour dough starter and successfully went after the wolves. It took about a month. My parents helped take care of Grant when I was out trying to earn some money. I moved in with my parents so Grant would not be shuffled back and forth between houses. Before Mary died, I had a dream and I was sitting in a rocking chair at Grandma Shumway's, peeling an orange and feeding it to Grant. Several weeks after Mary had passed away, I suddenly realized I was sitting in that chair peeling an orange and feeding it to Grant. My brother Glenn married Eva Lyman in February 1931 and moved into the home Mary and I had been living in. A friend of mine, Evan Carroll, takes credit for getting me interested in marrying Mary and another girl in town who was also born in Mexico. The girl was Mabel Carroll, Evan's sister. When I went to the Carroll home to see her she thought I was there to visit her brothers, Evan and Wayne. I finally convinced Mabel to marry me. In 1934 we took a winter time trip to Salt Lake City and were married in the temple on the 9th of February. The next December our first child was born and we named him Louis K. Because of my bad experience with baby doctors, I took Mabel to her Aunt Amy Black Carroll in Salt Lake to deliver K. He is shown here at about age one. We had gone to Salt Lake at Thanksgiving time and I missed the birth of Kay because I was up at the lake home in Oakley. This photo shows Bailey and his cows and the van with his dog cub. Our transportation was my Model A Ford which had no heater. In an effort to keep Kay warm I cut a hole in the floor of the car, wrapped the exhaust manifold with tin and piped the warm air to the hole in the floor. I am very proud of all nine of my children for pursuing additional education at a university. I was especially happy when Grant got a geology degree from the U and returned to Blanding with his family. Kay gave up his professorship at Washington State and brought his family back to Blanding. He and Patsy were a big help to us in our old age. I will continue my story. Mining was a big part of my life. I hope I do not bore you with some of the details. By 1939 I had been mining for over a decade. In 1939 I started mining in Long Canyon northeast of Blanding. I mined there and in Montezuma Canyon for several years before mining in White Canyon, Red Canyon, Elk Mountain, Shea Mountain and in Monument Valley. This photo shows Paul Black at his gas station. On top of the red Texaco stand is a glass tube with gallon measuring marks on it. A manual lever allowed pumping the desired quantity of gas into the glass tube and then it could be drained down the hose into your car. Even though gasoline was rationed during World War II, since the uranium and vanadium minerals in Meyer were critical to the war effort, I could buy all the gas I needed. It cost about 20 cents per gallon. Hello, my name is Mabel Carroll. I was born in Colonia Pacheco, Chihuahua, Mexico in May of 1911. Shown in these photos are my father, James Franklin Carroll, and mother, Mary Bell Black, with their son, Charles Thomas. The Carrolls and Blacks came to Mexico from Orderville, Utah. Both James and Mary's fathers had more than one wife and later James married a second wife named Annie Eliza Burrell. This photo shows my parents late in life. 
My mother had 12 children. Four died as babies and Charles died from the 1918 flu on board a troop ship headed for Europe. Aunt Annie had nine. Only Rose died as a baby. Dutton was killed in New Guinea in World War II. This photo shows Aunt Annie standing between her son, Lester and her husband. On the right is Beth. The left three are Tom, Willard, and Thel. My father had built this nice seven-room brick home where I was born and after being in Mexico for 20 years, things were looking up. However, a civil war broke out and we were forced to flee back to the USA. We chose to go to Grayson, Utah where Grandma Charlotte and several of her children lived. We arrived in Grayson in September of 1912 and, for several months, lived in tents on Uncle Tom's land southeast of town. The weather seemed very cold to Pachecoites. To add to our food supply we always had animals and gardens. Here I am at about age 8 hoeing weeds in the garden. The Blue Mountain shows in the background. When I was age 14 mother sent my brother, Klein, and me to the barn to catch the chickens and put them in their coop. I lunged for a chicken and was deeply poked in the groin by a pitchfork handle. The wound was very painful. It swelled up and got puss in it, the surface finally healed but the hip joint was infected. That slowed the bone growth and plagued me for years. Sometimes I would resort to using crutches. In 1939 we used the Homestead Act to obtain 160 acres of land in Bullpup Canyon. This is the small house we built and lived in part-time to fulfill the requirements. Years later, when Kay and Patsy came to Blanding they planted a large orchard on the land.